Hello everyone, I am Lily and this is 102 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue for the PlayStation. This game was released in 2000, it was developed by Crystal Dynamics, published by IDOS and distributed by Disney Interactive. It is also available for the Sega Dreamcast, PC and Game Boy Color and it is very loosely based on the live action movie 102 Dalmatians. And uh, you might be wondering why I'm playing this game or why I even have it and uh, I will explain that a little bit later but for now let's just get started. We will return to the adventures of Thunderbolt in, in space. space after these words from our sponsor. Hey, Aunt Bo, let's go dig for pirate treasure in the yard. You bet. But Domino, do you think it will be okay with Mom? Yeah, no sweat. Mom and Dad will be back from their walk soon. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, Domino, what's this? That's just one of those crummy robot toys Corella de Villa is making. Who would want such an ugly hunk of junk? I'm ruined. Ruined, I say. My toys, my marvelous, splendid toys. They're selling worse than Brussels sprouts. Don't worry, Miss Deville. I'm sure this new one will be a big hit. No fool. Can't you see? The spoiled brats of England must be spending their pocket money on something else. And we must eliminate that competition. Yes, there's no other choice. Professor Farsboom, get your head out of your toy programming and answer the phone. Uh, yes, Cruella, my sweet. Farsboom, my high-tech hireling, initiate plan B. Everybody. Oh, look, Dipstick. There are Oddball and Domino. At least they're still here. Listen, it's coming on the TV right now. And all over England, pets of every kind are vanishing without a trace. Scotland Yard is now on the case, and... <gasps> I just can't believe it. Our puppies, gone. It's that horrid Cruella de Vil up to her old tricks. I just know it. But what can we do, darling? I'll tell you what we can do. We'll go over to that evil woman's toy factory, get our pups back, and have it out with her once and for all. You're right, Dipstick. Oh, I could just bite that woman. Now, Oddball and Domino, you puppies stay right here. Take care of our humans while we're gone, and don't worry. We'll be back with all your brothers and sisters as soon as we can. Goodbye, my darlings. And be good. So, do you want to stay here and be good? Or do you want to go help rescue our family? My thoughts exactly, sis. Let's go. Alright, so I wasn't paying attention to that opening cutscene. Uh, I've played this game a bunch of times before, but I actually have no idea what it's about. Um, I know that Cruella is making evil toys. And I guess stealing puppies, I'm not really sure, but we need to stop her from all of that shit and we need to save the puppies. Uh, I'm not really sure beyond that. I don't think the plot of this game really matters. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and load up our first level. Hello there, puppy. Name's Waddlesworth. Welcome to Regent's Park. Hi, Waddlesworth. I'm looking for my brothers and sisters. I think they may be in trouble. Yes, Cruella de Vil has sent out an army of robotic toys to capture all the pets in England. But why? What is she going to do with them? The robots are locking the pets into crates like this one and taking them to Cruella's toy factory outside of London. Can we stop that? Of course! The toys are dangerous if you're not careful, but they are very poorly made. A loud bark at close range will destroy their cheap electronics. What about my brothers and sisters trapped in the crates? 
Try tumbling into the crates. You should be able to smash them open and rescue the puppies inside. Thanks, Waddlesworth. I'll see you soon. All right, first things first, we are going to decide which puppy we want to play as because we can play as Domino, so named for the white spots on his otherwise all black ears, or we can play as Oddball, so named because she is the only Dalmatian puppy without any spots. Now, I believe that both puppies were featured in the movie. Definitely, I know that Oddball was. Um, but anyway, yeah, I like playing as her better. I think she's cuter. Um, I love that she has no spots. That makes her super duper special. I think it's awesome. Anyway, so most of our enemies will be these evil toys. Um, I say most because there are going to be some other um, enemies that we don't exactly kill. We will deal with them in uh, different ways and we'll see that in a bit and I will explain that. We are collecting basically three things in this game. Uh, bones, puppies, and stickers. Now we got a few bones already. Here's our first puppy. All puppies will be in crates. Some will be a little more hidden than others, but nothing you really have to search too much for. Um, there are a hundred bones and six puppies in each level. And you can get a total of six stickers for each level. Um, we won't actually physically collect them. They're kind of um, something special that we get um, kind of like after. We have like a sticker book that will hold all of our stickers. Um, and you get one for collecting all the puppies, one for collecting all the bones, and one for making it to the end of the level. That Those three you will collect um, across the board. They're the same in each level. The puppies don't say anything important, so I'm just going to talk over them. Um, the other three stickers will be, um, like, sort of, like, task-related, or if you find, um, a more hidden area. I'm very reluctant to call any area secret. Um, sometimes, yeah, so, like, something, it'll be like that. Sometimes it's a sort of a fetch quest. You gotta go get something for someone. Sometimes it'll be something really, really random. And uh, a lot of times we will have, here I'll show you a random one, like we have this pup, uh, this puppy, puppies on the brain, we have this pigeon, but if we bark at it, hopefully it doesn't take me goddamn forever. We want it to go down here, because in an alcove up ahead, there is a big, no, 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 come on man. There we go. So if we get the pigeon to the pigeon statue, I don't really know why, but we're treated to that nice little dance and we get 12 bones from it. Um, I was in the middle of saying something else. Oh, okay, the other, another thing that will happen a little more consistently throughout the levels is we will have to um, <laughs> sort of do something kind of fun with um, one of Cruella DeVille's henchmen. Two of them are Horace and Jasper. They were uh, from the first, like the cartoon movie, 101 Dalmatians. Um, they, are, they are not in 102 Dalmatians. And 102 Dalmatians is only a live action movie. It's a sequel only to the live action 101 Dalmatians. There is no cartoon version. Um, you know, in case maybe you were wondering or something. I don't know. I was kind of curious. I was like, is there... A cartoon of this or no there's not um anyway so they have horace and jasper and then another stupid french guy jean-pierre le pelt who is another one of cruella's henchmen who actually is from the movie and here we have a squirrel uh let's talk to her <gasps> oh hi there my name's fidget <laughs> my mom calls me that because well i never stopped moving <laughs> Nice to meet you, Fidget. There's a lot of fun stuff to do around here, but, but look out for those evil toys. If you have any questions, you just come find me, and I'll tell you what I know. Bye! Alright, I wanted to talk to her again, but she's running away. I think she's going over to the tree. She'll tell me something helpful over here, and I'm gonna get her advice, and then I'll finish. Up there. Hey, I don't know if you found 
Cruella's henchman Jasper yet. But when you do, bring him back to my tree. I bet we could play a funny trick on him. <laughs> See you later. All right. So she is one of our animal friends. In each level, we will have an animal friend. Um, they're not all different. We will see some repeats. Uh, we will also see Waddlesworth, the parrot, the talking parrot, who was in the movie and spoke in the movie. Uh, he will be sort of... Uh, oh, here's Jasper. But I want to finish what I was saying. He will be our... Um, he is our checkpoint and our save. We can actually like save our game at him. Um, and so, whoa! I've never been hit by Jasper. I don't know if he takes life or whatever. Come back here, you mutt! Okay, Bridget. Now what? Well, I So now we got a sticker for dealing with Jasper. Oddball will always have some sort of like lame pun or some shit to say. And for the last time, let's talk to our squirrel friend. <laughs> wow, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I hope he's not allergic. Hey, now that Jasper's taken care of, do you suppose you could do me a favor? Huh? Well, sure, what is it? Oh, I, I lost my favorite nut. I go searching for it, but my mom doesn't let me go very far from our tree. <laughs> if you find it, would you please bring it back to me? You bet, Fidget. Now, for the animal friends, you don't always need to listen to what they say, but I do highly recommend... Um, I think you actually do need to... Yeah, I, I recommend talking to them always. Um... Because some things actually won't be initiated until you talk to them. Um, so it's just, you know, just to make sure you don't, um, like, get behind her. And just, like, you know, cover your bases, talk to them, blah, blah, blah. Um, I love our, like, freaking, like, not very well animated swimming. Because, like, we're, like, dog paddling, like, above the water. We're not actually in the water. I always found it kind of funny. Um, but anyway, yeah, so our animal friends, Waddlesworth, will save our game. He actually is a character from the movie. Um, another character is from the movie but didn't talk because Waddlesworth was the only animal that talked in that movie. Um, and then another one is actually from the cartoon, 101 Dalmatians. All of the other animal friends, I'm pretty sure, are unique to this game. Um, and so they'll help out and do random stuff. Some appear more than others. I, none of that really matters. Um, so now for... These cars are driving very close together. Um, we can deal with the toys um, by barking at them or by rolling into them. I bark at most of the enemies. Some you have to roll into. Um, and... I think the crates you have to, the crates I believe you have to, um, what's it called, uh, roll into in order to break them open, the ones with the puppies in them. Uh, here's Fidget's acorn that we will be able to take back to her. And now, as for why I have this game. Um, it's actually because, so this game came out in 2002, uh, in, excuse me, in 2000. Uh, keep that in mind, I was nine. And, uh, I like dogs, and I liked 101 Dalmatians. So I guess I liked 102 Dalmatians. Hang on, let's give Fidget her 
Acorn. Is this the nut you were looking for, Fidget? Yeah, that's it! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Here's a little reward! Cool! All right, she gives us some. She gives us some bones. That's nice. All right, so I liked um, what's it called? I liked this movie, and I think since I was a kid, a lot of my video game purchases were either made by or under the influence of my parents because they were the ones that would take me like to the game store or like they were like the whole reason I even had any money to spend on games in the first place. Um. But anyway, so I think that's why I ended up with um, a lot of shitty PlayStation games, and I'm not trying to insult my parents. Um, I I think it's cute because, you know, I find them cool, but their parents, they don't know that much about video games. This wasn't their thing when they grew up, it was mine. You know, like, the generation that I was born in, it's our kind of thing. Um, so they would, they didn't know a whole lot to make like independent decisions or, you know what I mean? Like, so they would get me or suggest things based on things that I liked, w you know, something like this. That's why I have like a Bugs Bunny game, a Harry Potter game. I have like a Lilo and Stitch, a Powerpuff Girls game. I have a lot of crappy PlayStation games. This is what I played mostly when I was, um, a child, like eight, nine, ten. Um, up till the PS2 came out, then I then I played that, and I um, had better tasting games. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of why I have this game. And the thing is, it's actually like it's fun. I really enjoy playing it. I only know of like I think two other people, only one of them in real life, um, who actually have heard of and have played this game. And uh, it, was, it was my coworker. And we actually bonded over it, and like we kind of, it was like amazing. That was like one of the f things I would not expected um, to have in common with her. Uh, and now we're like really, really good friends. And like this is possibly an influence. Um, she also played Spyro, and this game came up, and it was just really fun. Anyway, so that's why I have it. I got it as a kid because I liked the movie. Um, my parents, they know. Th they would pay attention to things I like, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This game ended up being fun. That's why I still play it. Uh, and it's really as simple as that. It's fun. As, you know, there's no shame in liking a game that's fun. And, okay, back to what we're actually doing. Um, meat, you can't see because I'm not low on health, but meat will replace our health. Like hamburgers, hot dogs, things like that. Things, like meaty treats kind of thing. Um, now we have, sorry for running around so much, not doing anything. Um, we have eight bones left and there are none that we are missing um, in the overworld. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it, above ground. Now we need to start sniffing. So besides, you know, collecting bones from various tasks, killing enemies, uh, you do want to kill all of the enemies in a level. Um, and just from, yeah, like laying around, completing tasks, killing enemies, we have, uh, some bones buried underground. Um, the number changes, um, I've had as many as eight and as few as one. Um, the crappy thing about this, I, I find this really cute. I thought it was like, I think it's really adorable that you can like sniff out and dig up bones, but, um, you can also sniff out and dig up like um, health if you're low and like lives actually on like very very rare occasions anyway um, the thing that sucks about this is that if you have any bones above ground or like from a task that is like killing an enemy or something um, yeah, usually it, 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 usually it's just if you have them above ground you will not sniff out any to dig um, so that um, usually you have to leave this as the last thing that you do. The unfortunate part is that sometimes, and it especially sucks in a more linear level, you actually have to go all the way back to the beginning and start there or start at the end and be taken all the way back to the beginning and it really kind of sucks. Um, if you are out of bones to dig for, you uh, we'll sniff your way to the um, to the end over here, the giant 102, which is the end of the level. Um, 
There should be, if it's taking me somewhere else. Okay, yep, it looks like this is my last one, yay. Okay, yeah, so that was the sniffing. It kind of sucked. On very rare occasions, do you have, um, can you actually um, sniff out in some areas um, before collecting all of the other bones above ground in the level? But sometimes it will take you, like if I started here and I dug up this one, the trail would take me through this doorway. Like, so that's how far it will actually travel. Um, yeah, if you have around, if you're in the 90s and you can't find any more bones, it's a good time to start sniffing because you will also find the above ground ones that you have missed. Um, and then you'll obviously dig up more. And now we can go, if you exit a level, you will save all of your progress. However, to open the next level, you need to go through the 102. So we can approach it and get our sticker and I will go through this and we will do the next level in the next part. So until then, thank you very much for watching. You're all amazing and awesome people and I will see you later.